Hi guys, welcome. It's lesson one, pre-algebra. Uh, your very first lesson. I'm excited you guys could join me. If you're following along, Saxon, algebra one half, and this is the third edition. Third edition. Sorry about my light there. It's a little reflective. Um, so we're going to talk lesson one, which is on expanded notation and place value. Uh, talking about whole numbers, your introduction to numbers, things like that. Now, I apologize because my camera is really close to my table here, and so you, I can't get everything in here. Uh, it's the only way I can get it to focus. I'm not sure. I'm not tech savvy. I'm a math person. Um, okay, so I, I encourage you to go through and read the lesson, of course, right? In your book, read the lesson. It talks a little bit about the place value of numbers. We do know, and in my chart here, I only have space for six numbers on this side of the decimal, up to our hundred thousandths, uh, hundred thousands, sorry. Uh, and you'll notice in the book, it goes up much higher. So that's why I want you to make sure that you notice it in the book. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna be introduced to are counting and natural numbers. You may hear that referred to. Uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, all that good stuff. Uh, whole numbers include zero. So counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, because that's things we can count. Whole numbers include zero, okay? Integers are the opposite of those counting numbers. So one, negative one, two, negative two. So integers include all of our whole numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. And then integers are the opposite of those, okay? Now let's talk about where the, those fall in the place value. Uh, for this first chapter, you won't be introduced to the stuff on the right of the decimal point. And you can notice those are different by tenths, hundredths, thousandths, but this is the, the chart that I use. This is available um, in the Google Classroom as well. Uh, so, you, but, so we'll just stick with this one for right now, okay? So looking at example one, this is on page two, we have uh, 46, two, three, and five. So this, um, I've put it a little comma in here so that you can uh, see that. Now, what we, how we would say this is we take the group that it's in, this group right here, that's because that's where the comma is, right? That's our group of three. You'll notice all these are grouped by three. And we say 46 thousandths, thousands, I'm going to keep doing that, I'm sorry, 46 thousands, 235. Now, you may hear people say 235. Those people are totally incorrect. And even, I bet if you look at your parents and they write checks, they may even write it 170. The word and in math actually means the decimal place. So, and you'll hear me, I make this mistake all the time, as I know a lot of adults do. Uh, you'll hear me, I'm giving you a new marker. Uh, you'll hear me say 235, incorrect, 235. All right, so 46,235. Uh, that's how we would go about saying those. So the second part of this lesson is expanded notation. Expanded notation. Uh, and you may have been introduced to this, I think in fifth and sixth grade, right about there. Uh, we'll stick with that third 235. And the way we do expanded notation, you'll see up here in my little chart here, in the hundreds column, it's worth 100, right? Tens is worth 10, ones is worth ones. It gets a little trickier over here when we get to those decimals, but we're not gonna be doing that today. Uh, the way we would write expanded notation is we take whatever is here, we multiply it by this, and then we add them all together. So in our hundreds column, we have two one hundreds plus three tens plus five ones. That is expanded notation. Expanded notation. Uh, the other thing that you'll... Uh, you're going to be re, uh, referring to on this is using a hyphen and writing numbers. So I love the Saxon course because it's really, uh, it's cumulative. So you keep growing and uh, you keep doing the same thing over and over again, but they're also a stickler for the important things like and means decimal. See, I got a little and in there, right? The other one is when you're writing numbers, um, it, we begin, and I'll just read this out to you. We begin by noting that all numbers between 20 and 100 that do not end in zero are hyphenated words when we write them out. So 23 is 20, three, okay? So make sure that you're doing that. Uh, fantastic, okay, so now that we have that, uh, make sure that you're using your words and uh, writing, so uh, writing between math numbers and words. 
Uh, make sure you're writing that in your notebook so that you can take a peek and go back and look at your notes on your tests to spell things correctly, that you're making the right uh, decision there. And some of those examples might be helpful to do as well. All right, so what I want you to do now is you're gonna go ahead and pause the video and on page five, I want you to take, uh, take a look at the practice problems. A, it's about halfway down, down, the, halfway down on the page and uh, go ahead and answer those. So pause the video, answer those, come on back. And when you're back, we'll answer them together. Okay, so for A, in the number, let's see, eight, it helps me to write them backwards. I don't know if that helps you. Two, five, and one. It's asking in the number 152068, what is the value of the two? First, let's make sure we're saying this correctly. The comma is right here, so it's in this group here. So it's 152,068, not and, 152,068. The place value of the two here, it's in your thousands column. So it's your thousands, okay? That was A. Looking at B, it's asking us to write this in standard notation. We have, and I'm gonna adjust here, I apologize. Takes me a little bit, not tech savvy. Not tech savvy, haha. <laughs> All right, we have uh, six times 1,000 plus four times 10 plus three times one. We have that written right there. I'm going to use this lovely chart here. So we have six in our 1,000 column, that's up here. We have four in our 10 column, that's right here. And we have three in our ones column right here. You'll notice we're missing in the hundreds column. We don't have anything, right? That's a zero, okay? That's a zero. So the way, there's our comma right here because our comma comes after every three numbers. So the way we'd say this is 6,043, 6,043. Excellent, that was B. All right, now we are going to write this number. I'll use this, okay? Uh, 85020. Okay, we're gonna write this number in expanded notation. First, let's go ahead and plug that into our chart here. Okay, got that into our chart. And how many do we have in the 10,000s column? We have eight, so it's gonna be eight times 10,000 plus five in the thousands chart, or thousands column. So five times 1,000. And when we're at 1,000, you'll sometimes see me use com uh, commas and sometimes I don't. It's a personal preference, you can use them if you want. Anything over that, you should probably, especially in an answer, use it. Uh, but as we get into some bigger math, it, it, the, the reason why is because it breaks things up and so it's easier to keep things nicely aligned. Um, but as we get into some bigger math, it may, you may or may not do it. All right, plus, now we have nothing here, so we're gonna leave that blank. And then we have in our tens column two, so two times 10. And then we have nothing in our one column. That is your answer. That's your answer. Good work. All right, for D, use digits to write out this number. 10,205,041,500. Let's kind of work reverse here, all right? We've got 541,500. 41, 41,000. 41, See, it said 41 and then it said 1,000, right? So we need our 41 to end in the thousands column. 500. 500. Now my chart here doesn't go up as high as theirs as theirs do, so that's why I wanted to start with that, okay? Now again, we have groups of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Let me try that again. Let's try it. Uh, one, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. So this is our, uh, this is ones, tens, hundreds, okay? This is our thousands, thousands. This is our hundred thousands. Nope, that's our millions. Sorry, what am I doing? That's our millions. This is our billions. Okay, so this one's asking us 10 billion. All right, so 10 ends in the billion, so we want it to end in the billion column. That's right there. Uh, 205 million. 205 million. 205 million. Oh, see, I did it. 205. Don't do that. 205 million. 41,000. 
500. And you'll notice that we have a gap right there at that 41,000, so we're gonna put a zero there. So our answer should look like 10 comma 205 comma 041 comma 500. 500, I'm a teacher, so that's the balance in my bank account, right? Full of jokes, full of jokes. All right, using words to write the next number. This is E. All right, we have three, six, zero, two, five, one, zero, three, and this is where I think commas are helpful. We're gonna go three, comma, one, two, three, comma. All right, so we know that this is our uh, thousands, uh, tens, ones. This is our, I'm sorry, hundreds, tens, one. Hmm. This is our thousand, thousands, and this is our millions. So we have 36 million, 25,103. So 36, and I put a dash there because you should spell that out, 36 million, 20, I'm gonna actually spell it out for you, 25,000, 103, 103, excellent. Any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, good work and we'll see you at lesson two.